British researchers say they found a way to stop one of the deathliest forms of breast cancer from being passed down from mother to daughter. They do it by screening cells of an embryo before it's implanted. KKL9's Lisa Siegel has details. Genetic testing is not uncommon these days, but this goes beyond the usual testing done when a woman wants to get pregnant. It actually allows parents to possibly stop a cycle of diseases that can be deadly. 27-year-old Savon Credo has inherited a gene that puts her at greater risk for breast and ovarian cancer. Um, in my family, it happened to be that it was passed on from my grandmother to my mother to me. Infertility specialist Dr. Gerard Canelian explains the gene called BRCA1. Women who have this gene have 80% chance of developing breast cancer and approximately 50 to 60% chance of developing ovarian cancer. Not to mention a 50% chance of passing the gene on to their children. Now a new procedure could prevent this. Doctors in England are celebrating the birth of the first baby genetically selected without the BRCA1 gene. We've demonstrated now that this can be screened for and we can avoid the transmission of this nasty disease. The procedure is done by taking out one cell from an embryo. It's called pre-implantation genetic diagnosis or PGD. The parents of the baby used in vitro fertilization to create embryos. A laser was then used to separate a single cell to test and only the embryos without the breast and ovarian cancer gene were implanted we can apply the same technology to so many other genetic diseases. Dr. Canelian says it is exciting and will impact generations to come, but it's not a cure-all because not all breast cancers are triggered by this genetic mutation. Well, it's not a panacea. It's not like you can eliminate this gene uh, from the embryo and then not have cancer, absolutely. Right now, Savon Credo is deciding about her own body, including having a double mastectomy to prevent breast cancer. Still, as she looks toward the future and having children, she's hopeful. It's really exciting to know that we can stop the gene where it is. Doctors I spoke with say this procedure is extremely expensive, one estimated up to $20,000. There are critics who have ethical problems with all of this, fearing doctors will try and screen out all defects. In the studio, I'm Lisa Siegel, KCAL 9 News.